Welcome back guys to this 12th Django tutorial video and in the last video we created our portfolio page and the home page and today we are going to be working on our home page and I'm really excited about today because finally we are going to be building this functionality where we will be able to write our first name and the last name and when we click on it tell me a Chuck Norris joke button that new joke is going to be dynamically appearing over here with the name instead of the Atre Bhatt. The name that we enter over here is going to be appearing instead uh, of Atre Bhatt inside the joke. And this joke is going to be random every time. So currently it's just static, it's not being dynamically generated. Uh, that's because we have just copy and pasted this joke on our website. And how are we going to be uh, dynamically generating it? We are going to be using something known as a joke API. So you can just go to Google and type in joke API and we are going to be using this first one. You can use rest of them, it's fine. I'm just going to be using this Chuck Norris database. And if you wanna follow along, you can use the same one. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna show you how this joke will appear. I think I showed you, a, give you a, I gave you a little bit of a teaser in the last video how it should appear. So I'm just gonna copy this from over here, click on this copy button, click on CDRLC and copy this in my URL. Now obviously this is a little bit wrong, so I'm gonna remove this ampersand over here and I'm gonna press enter. So we are going to be getting this JSON inside our uh, views.py file and then we are going to be decoding this JSON to get this joke and we'll be finally printing it out on our HTML. So let me kind of give you a pathway that we will be following in this video. So first, first what happens when we enter the name over here? So just for example, let's say we type in something like uh, Johnny Sins. If you watch a lot of something, you probably know who Johnny Sins is. If you don't, good for you. But anyways, uh, we just wrote the name. And what happens when we click on this button? Or what is going to happen when we click on this button? So when we click on this button, it's going to go to our index.html file where this form is. And this form is over here. And then it's going to search for this action and the method. And the action is going to redirect it to our views.py file. And over here in the index dot in this index function, we are going to make sure that we get the first name and the last name in this index function, uh, just like we did in the contact one. We'll write if request dot method equals to post, and then we'll get the first name and the last name, and then we'll just using this request library inside Python, we are going to get this uh, data from this API of uh, icndb.com. We are going to get this data, we are going to decode this JSON data and then we are going to get the joke and then we are going to transfer the joke from our views.py file again back to our index.html file and we are going to place that joke somewhere over here. So this is kind of the framework that we will be following. So the first step to our framework is actually making sure that the form is working and to make sure that the form is working we need two things. First is the where and the how. So the where is called the action like we discussed and in action we are going to put in a URL. So let's put in the URL of uh, our home because we want it to go to this uh, index website and the name of the index is home. And what else do we want? We want the method and the method should be post. You can, and we are not transferring any kind of password and stuff so you can even use get but I always follow a rule that if it's a form uh, try and use the method as post. So we are going to be using the post method and then inside uh, our urls.py we are not going to be doing anything just to see that when it goes to this uh, home URL it's going to be redirecting it to this index function in the views.py file. So it's going to come over here in this index and then what we want is we want to see whether we are getting the first name and the last name inside our views.py file or not. So let's copy this actually from over here and we can just paste it over here and then let's just copy this one not the whole thing and what we can do is we can just find out if the first name is being returned to this file or not so we can just write uh, let's write first name equals to request.post.get and we have forgot one thing in our uh, index.html we forgot to give them names because we won't be able to retrieve it in our views.py file with the request.post.get function if you don't give these uh, items in the inside a form a name. So this one I'm going to give it a name of F name. F stands for first if you are wondering. All right, the first name. Okay, something is going wrong. Okay, I have uh, put the double quotes as well as a single quotes. That was a problem. 
and over here I'm just gonna write uh, the L name not L M A E L name and this looks pretty good now inside over here we can just write F name and let's print it out and see if it is working let's print out the first name and obviously we have put an extra equal to all right so this looks pretty good now one thing I want to tell you is uh, let's actually also add a else over here so that if it's not a post request request it can go to this return part and one thing I want to tell you is that you have to make sure that it is returning something so as you can see in the contact function we have made sure that even if it is a post request we are returning some kind of HTML inside that post request. If we don't return anything over here, it's gonna throw us an error. Now what you can do is, I want you to do is actually go and execute this, uh, go and make sure that you run it on your server and you're gonna see that it gives you an error. Actually, let me just run it for you. So let's go over here and let's just refresh it a bit. Now if we click on tell me a Jack Norris joke, it's gonna give us first uh, error, that is the CSRF error. Uh, let's actually let's first fix this fix this error obviously you must know what this error is i always forget to do it inside the index.html file so this is the csrf token error so inside a form we have to add a tag which is known as csrf token and this is going to prevent all kind of hacking csrf attacks on our website so let's add that token over here let's restart the server click on run server let's wait for the server to run come on all right let's go over here press enter now if we click on tell me a check norris joke it's going to give us a different error which says it didn't return an http response object which basically says it doesn't return any kind of html file so we have to return this file so we're going to just copy and paste this over here all right now we are returning index.html in the post method too now we can just restart the server because the server is not for some reason restarting again and that is a pain in the ass but it's fine let's click on okay tell me a Chuck Norris joke now if we go over here actually we didn't enter anything so we won't be able to test it let's type in Johnny and click uh, tell me a Chuck Norris joke now you can see that Johnny is being printed over here so now we have successfully gotten uh, something something from the form from index.html file to our views.py file so now we know that the first name is working we can do the same thing with the last name let's just cut and paste it over here make it last and instead of f name call it l name all right so this looks pretty good now what we need to do is we need to send these first name and the last name to this url that is over here so in the url as you can see this requires two things first is the first name and the second is a last name so we need to make sure that we send this url to this api.icndb.com server with the first name and the last name and then get this response from the server and then we are going to use this response to basically show the joke on our website so to send some kind of a url some data we are going to be using the request library inside our uh, python so what we are going to do is we are going to go to file settings and if you're not using PyCharm, you can just pip install requests. So we can just click on plus, this plus thing over here, click on plus, and over here you can just search for uh, request, request, and you need to install this, and let's wait for the description. It says Python HTTP for humans, and we are humans, so we'll be using this. So just add it and click on install package i've already installed it so i'm not going to install it again as you can see in my list i already have this installed you don't need to install all of the rest stuff i just did it for fun you can just install you sh you must be seeing django right now because it's already installed and you must be seeing like request because you have installed it by now now after installing request what we are going to do is we are going to import it so we're going to import requests and then inside this request inside our um, index function we are going to write we are going to create a variable called r and we are going to write request dot get and then we are going to just copy and paste this url that we have over here let's copy and paste this over here so right now we are not adding the first name or the last name uh, let's actually add it why, why why should we wait for it so let's add it plus and uh, the last name equals to 
All right, let's move this. So we are going to be basically putting in, instead of the John, we are going to be putting in the first name and instead of the Doe, we are going to be putting in the last name. So instead of John, let's put in the first name and instead of Doe, let's put in the last name. All right, so this looks pretty good, although it's giving us uh, some kind of an error. All right, we forgot to put a plus over here. All right, so this is a proper URL that we want to send to the joke server. Now this server is gonna send this stuff, uh, sorry, this request library is gonna send this, uh, the first name and the last name to the server using this URL. And then it's going to store all the response that we get back from the server that is the joke inside this variable called r. Let's see actually what it returns by, let's just press enter and we're gonna print just the response that we get from it. We are gonna write r dot text to see the response that we get. So now we can go back to our website, press enter and like, let's type in uh, something new, Anastasia and let's type in Greek. Tell me a Chuck Norris joke. So now if we go back over here, you can see that uh, we have got a joke which says all arrays anesthesia Greek declares are infinite size. It is some kind of computer science joke. I won't get into it. But now you can see that we are getting back some kind of a response, including a joke. So the next thing we need to do, so this, this response over here is actually a JSON. We won't be able to decode a JSON unless we first convert it into a dictionary. So let's actually convert it into a dictionary by writing, we just create a variable called json underscore data. And then inside it, we are going to write json dot loads. And inside this loads, we are just going to write r dot text. So it's going to get all of the stuff. Uh, so actually we also have to import this json library. I think we haven't imported it yet. So we are going to go above and you don't need to pip install anything for this json. It's already built inside. Uh, Python 3.6, so you don't need to worry about Python 3.7, 3.8, whatever you are using. So it's already in built inside that. So over here, now you can see the error has disappeared. Uh, so what is this JSON dot loads doing is, it's taking this uh, JSON data that is inside our dot text, and it's basically, con basically converting it to a dictionary and saving it inside JSON underscore data. Now, if you have used dictionary before, you know how to decode it. You first decode it, uh, using this function called get. So if we actually let me just print it out what this JSON data contains so that you have an idea of what is happening behind the scenes. Let's format this properly. All right, this looks good. Let's restart the server. And come on. All right, now we can go back, press enter, and we can type here. Let's type in just hello world, press enter. And if we go over here, you can see it's kind of, it kind of looks like JSON, but it's a little bit different. And inside dictionary, how do we take out the values? We first use the get value. And as you can see, it's kind of a nested, nested dictionary. So first we are going to get the value using the get function. We are going to get this key. And then inside this key, we are going to get this joke key. So what we are going to do is we are going to just going to write, a, we are going to create a variable called joke and then write JSON data dot get. Now the first thing we need to get is the value. So we are gonna get value. And then inside this value, because it's a nested dictionary, we need this joke value. So we are just gonna write uh, get again, and then we need the joke. So we are gonna write joke over here. And now our jokes value should be inside this joke. So let's try it out and see if our joke is being printed or not. So let's save it. And is it being refreshed? Yeah, it was. Let's press enter. Again, let's go to hello. Actually, instead of hello world, let's type in, uh, let's type in my name. What What the heck? I'm not typing in my name just because I'm not narcissistic. Or maybe I am a little bit, I don't know. All right. So let's go over here. And now you can see, we don't have any kind of dictionary. We don't have any kind of JSON. And if you don't know what JSON is, it's just a way to represent data. Uh, and JSON is basically being used by this website. This is JSON kind of a format. So JSON is basically a way to represent data. Don't put too much thinking into it. Or if you want, you can just go to Google and know more about JSON. But anyways, you can see this is just proper text and this is just pure uh, joke without any dictionary and stuff. Now, the next thing that we want to do is transfer this joke from our uh, views.py file to our index.html file so that we can display it instead of this joke. So what we are gonna do is we are gonna write we're going to create a context. All right. 
this is basically a variable you can call it whatever you want and we are going to put in a curly brace then we are just going to write joke and we are going to put in joke so this joke variable over here is actually this joke thing over here and you can just call it joker if you want to i don't mind you just call it whatever you want i just wanted to call it joke because it looks a little bit easier and when you are making huge projects you might get a little bit confused so it's better to just name name them the same thing but for this video i'm just gonna just call it joker and then when you return the render part you add another parameter over here and that parameter is called not contact it's called context so now we are somehow sending this joke variables data to our uh, context and how we are sending it we are sending it with this joker text so this is basically you can think of, of uh, like a key so we are sending this key and inside this key this variable joke is stored which contains our joke and we are sending this key inside uh, this context to our index.html file and how do we retrieve it inside our index.html file it's very very easy so you remember we use this del delimiter called this percentage sign and this curly braces this is called a tag so instead of this tag what we are going to be using is just double curly braces and inside this we are going to put in the variable of joker so over here as you can see we put in joker that's why in the index.html file we are putting in the joker now we can just remove this from over here and just save it and let's go back to our file and just press enter now because we have removed the joke the joke isn't here yet uh, but we type in if we type in the name let's say Arthre and Bhat and press tell me a Chuck Norris joke let's see if it works as you can see it says Arthre Bhat vibes his ass with a chain mail and it's, it's weird all right <laughs> it's weird weird a joke weird joke let's just ignore this joke all right so as you can see but at the starting when you re refresh it there is no joke that is appearing over here so to fix it what we can do is we can just go back to our views.py file and we can just copy this stuff let's just copy all of this stuff from here and we can just paste it inside our uh, this this uh, get method all right so this was the post method that was above and this is the get method now we can just go back and press enter and uh, it won't show us it actually will give us an error because there is no first name and last name inside this uh, this 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 get method so in in the post method is actually getting this stuff from the form but over here there is no first name and there is no last name so what we are going to do is we are just going to put in atre and you can just put in your default name in this else one and we're just going to write part and this looks good let's stop it all right the server is already refreshed so we can just go back press enter now so it won't give us an error this time as as you can see there is a default joke appearing randomly every time we press enter so let's press enter again that's not Atre but doing which i'm moving the earth away from all right this looks pretty good so let's try it out with johnny sins our favorite character in the history let's click on tell me a chuck norris joke johnny sin wow this is this is like so appropriate for this name i can't believe the this is this is called destiny this is called just you know it was meant to be this is maktub if you don't know what maktub is it's it's an arabic word which means it was written i read it in a book called alchemist but anyways this, this is a pretty funny joke anyways uh, so yeah guys this is how you uh, dynamically make sure appears a joke appears in your uh, home page and in this video basically i what what i wanted to teach you was how to get stuff inside our views.py file and there's not a lot of difference between Django and Python. So even though we are using Django, we can still use a lot of Python stuff inside our uh, views.py file. And I also wanted to teach you how to send data from our views.py file to our index.html file. So we just needed this two curly braces and we can easily send data to our uh, this index.html file. So anyways, guys, this is pretty much it for this video. Uh, in the next video, I'm not sure what we are going to do, but it's going to be a pretty exciting one. So I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.